Hi, I'm Steve, the introverted traveler. I've made it my mission in life to explore the beaches, deserts, mountains, and even cityscapes around us, and to do so while avoiding contact with as many people as possible. And although I will never hang out with you for any reason, I do invite you to join me on my journey. Come and see the world through the eyes of an extreme introvert. On this edition, we hike along the Pacific Crest Trail to Zigzag Canyon near Mount Hood in Oregon. Along the way, we'll see lush forests, volcanic terrain, and beautiful wildflowers before making a stop at the Timberline Lodge, also known as the Overlook Hotel from the movie The Shining. All this and much more on this Introverted Travels. Greetings once again. Back here on yet another adventure. And I'm at the Timberline Lodge here by Mount Hood, Oregon. And actually the volcano, Mount Hood, is right off to my right, but it's behind some trees. So I can't show it to you at the moment. And I'm also standing right in the sun. So, we're doing the Timberline to Zigzag Canyon trail today. It's about five miles, moderately rated trail. Guess who's back for his only hike here in Oregon. It's kind of a warm day, so he's already ticked off. But for those of you who don't know what the Timberline Lodge is, you may actually know it by another name, the Overlook Hotel. For those of you who have seen the movie The Shining, with Jack Nicholson, the Stanley Kubrick classic. I'm actually not a fan of that particular movie. I have the same grievances with it that Stephen King has with it. But uh, we're here at the hotel that stood for the exterior shots of the hotel in the movie. So it's a Timberline Hotel in real life, but in the movie, it's the Overlook. So you'll see more of that at the end. But before that, you're gonna see Volcano. You're gonna see Happy Dog. You're gonna see Grumbling Introvert because there's people everywhere. This is apparently an area where there's multiple trailheads because Mount Hood's right here. So there's a hike up the Mount Hood. We're not doing that today. I've already done my Volcano. Thank you very much. But there's people all over the place. I've already seen multiple people on this trail and the usual complaints apply and I hear people coming. But destroyed solitude, destroyed happiness. Again, it's gonna be one, another rare video for me, folks. Well, already I've had to endure, as usual, mundane conversations. We're out here in this incredibly beautiful wilderness and people are babbling about their stupid lives. I'm sorry, folks. Stop, just stop. No one wants to hear you out here. It's quiet, it's beautiful. I don't wanna hear what you're going through in life. I wanna see, well, we see ski lifts over there, but I wanna see trees, I wanna see flowers. Those are beautiful flowers, there's a bee, there's a dog, look at that dog in this natural environment. And yet, I have to endure mon dumb, yeah, mundane conversations. <sighs> Too many people, folks. Too many damn people. Apparently I need a permit. All right, let's get a permit. All right, permit obtained. Remember, whenever you are out on public land, and I'm talking to pretty much everybody because I seem to be the only one who does this, but always adhere to all the rules, the regulations, always get whatever permits you need. Don't just be an asshole. Enough of this, oh, this is my freedom, I'll do what I want, garbage. It, it doesn't work, folks. If we all do that, we all trash this and then we're all forbidden from it or it's all destroyed and we, we can't use it so he's permitted i'm permitted and as i was filling out the permit a group of like 10 people came and they wanted to fill out permits <sighs> serenity serenity someday an asteroid will hit this planet 
and it will just be dogs left. Yeah, planet of the dogs. That's the ultimate dream. That's what I always say, right? Planet of those. Can you imagine if he was the emperor? Emperor Snuggles. Well, right now we have King Idiot and Emperor Snuggles you know, talking to a GoPro, hoping that giant group doesn't catch up with us. All right, looks like we got some rugged terrain here. There's Mount Hood in the background there, some snow. Oh boy. Okay, we're not going down the cliff. Let's go this way and hope for the best. Come on, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, we have a trail. As you can see, all is good. All good? Come on, come on. Come on. It's okay. Come on. I know, it's scary. It's okay. I've got gotcha. you. Sometimes we just have to be brave, folks. And there goes the bravest coward I've ever met. He's brave on certain things, but if he sees a snail, he's cringing. Don't ask me. I don't understand it, but uh, yeah. But he'll do this. And there's the volcano. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the hell I'm facing. That's one group. Why do people come out here in groups? I mean, I get coming out here in doubles or triples for safety, as long as you're quiet and you're you know, walking single file and don't make eye contact with me. I'm okay with that. Well, not really, because you're humans and I can't stand you, but I, I don't understand coming out into a peaceful, blissful wilderness with 15 of your closest friends and screaming, hollering, playing music. I mean, honestly, can't you go be an asshole somewhere else? I mean, there's lots of places in society where people are assholes. Can you just leave nature to those of us who just want to be. I, I just don't understand why you guys are coming out here in packs. I mean, seriously. Because you're ruining it for the rest of us. You're ruining it for those of us who want solitude, want happiness, and frankly are out here to get away from you. I mean, come out and enjoy the wilderness. Just do it responsibly, like, like I do, you know. Alone and angry and ranting to a GoPro. This is an ongoing saga. Normally, the way I usually do this is if there's groups of people, you know, even if there's one or other, one or two other hikers. Come on, got a straggler. I, uh, I stop. I let them pass. They move on, and you know, we may see each other again down the trail. But I do my thing. They do yours, theirs. Try not to make eye contact. Try not to say much. This group of like 12 people has been haunting me. This entire hike, so far, a big part of this hike. I slow down, I hope they pass me, and then apparently they slow down. And so I say, okay, well, I'm not gonna wait here. And then I keep going. And then they catch up. And then I let them pass, but they don't pass. And uh, this is why I should not play with other folks. It's just a bad idea. Okay, I couldn't stand it anymore. That group of like 12 people was haunting the hell out of me. Finally, Butthead and I stopped and had our lunch. And now we're sitting here alone in the forest. And all is well again. It's quiet. There's tranquility. And the big group has passed us. They're way down the trail now. And I can move on to focus on complaining about other things. So there you go. Is going to show you a really cool shot of Zigzag Canyon. Here is uh, Mount Hood. It's it's utterly beautiful. And the spot where the All Trails map ends, that big group of 12 freaking people is sitting there taking selfies, hogging the entire area, will not move. So I decided to come down here. He has decided to take a rest underneath a tree. If you look at the uh, ground here, all this loose soil, I believe is volcanic ash. And the reason I know that, you know why I know that. It's because I spent hours kicking up the stuff the other day on Mount St. Helens. But <clears throat> this unfortunately is becoming a big problem this week 
of trying to film and there's just too many people and there's too many people in general and I usually you know don't have a lot of issues but when there's huge groups like that they just spread out they don't I'm not exactly sure what's happening here but he moved and then he repositioned himself so yeah we're actually at the end of the ultra trails hike it's utterly beautiful out here check check that out that is a freaking volcano okay the huge group is cleared out so I'm going to go back over here I'm going to show you the official end of the ultra trails hike and there's Mount Hood in front of us and I'm about to show you the zigzag canyon All right, folks, I don't know what river that is, but that's awesome. There's the Zigzag Canyon. There's a dog who keeps trying to get too close to the edge. We're gonna walk over here. So there's the, uh, probably the Hood Forest. I, I, I don't remember what it is, but it's the National Forest. And then of course, Mount Hood right there. And we're in the Pacific Crest Trail. This is like 40 times beauty just all at once. It's like Pacific Crest Trail is beautiful. Mount Hood's beautiful. The river down there is beautiful. The forest over there is beautiful. Me, I'm, well, I'm the most gorgeous of all. So you, you got to see the natural wonder that is me and uh, the cutie right there. By the way, you know how many times he's been called cutie today? Every hiker, male, female, doesn't matter. You know, non-binary, doesn't matter. Everybody goes by him. Oh, he's a cutie, he's a cutie. One of these days I'm just gonna tell him, thank you, I, I try my best, but no, it's him. Nobody calls me a cutie. Actually, I'm pretty sure most people that look at him don't even know I'm here, but I'm actually okay with that. So, uh, all right, that gigantic group cleared out. I got to show you the end of the hike, or at least the turnaround point. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna go check out the Overlook Hotel, which is actually the Timberline Lodge, but uh, we're gonna pretend it's the Overlook Hotel. I don't even like that movie and I'm geeking out. Let's go. So here's the scoop. We're still seeing other hikers, but we're starting to see more and more dogs to where the ratio of dog to hiker is starting to even out. Hopefully there will be soon be more dogs than people out here, which is how the planet should be. Again, as I said, I've always advocated for planet of the dogs. His kind will someday rule. He's doing fine. We just did our last major uphill, I believe. I hope. And, uh, we saw a golden retriever and some mix collie thing. And uh, he sniffed, they sniffed, all was good. And now he's trying to lead. So I don't know, it's hard to tell with him. Maybe he's just the same as he always is because he hates hills. He's always hated hills. Kind of don't blame him, but uh, yeah. So right now on this trail, the Pacific Crest Trail, it's dog versus people and dogs are starting to win. All right, so we are already to that part of the video where I'm headed back to the Timberland Lodge. We've been out here for a while. Let's see, what does this say? Site of the Timberline Cabin, 1916 to 1953. Well, I guess there was a cabin here. I was just gonna do a trail writing, but now we get like historical markers to add to it. And uh, apparently we're taking a break. So this is, yeah, this is a good time. All right. On a scale of one to 10, one being the worst thing possible, Disneyland on the 4th of July, with a number of ugh, people and kids and weirdos in costumes and whatever else is at Disneyland on the 4th of July. That's a one on the introvert scale or the introversion scale. A 10 is the most wonderful thing ever. That would be middle of a field in Antarctica with just you and all the penguins. That is an introvert's dream just me and penguins sitting there in an ice field. I would love that. That sounds like a lovely time. So a one is the circle of hell. A 10 is the gates of heaven. This trail is about a two. I mean, there are so many people out here. This is the Pacific Crest Trail, but this little section of the Pacific Crest Trail is right next to a very popular uh, hotel, right next to a ski resort, right next to a volcano. And unfortunately, 
the scourge that is humanity has wormed its way out here and just made this trail and uh, yeah, you, you, you watch the video. So, the misery index, of course, was uh, on a scale of one to five. One being not miserable at all, which is never true. I'm always some level of miserable. Uh, five being the most miserable thing in the world. I was about a 5,000. There was that huge group of people that were hogging the trail, hogging the, the scenic spots, talking and yak, 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 and all that stuff. I couldn't take it. So, unfortunately, as much as I love the Pacific Crest Trail, this tiny little stretch is not going to get a good rating for me for today. Now, given that we're about to go to the Timberland Lodge, aka the Overlook Hotel, I must say that after having done this trail today, I do realize why, uh, you know, I, now I know why Jack Nicholson went insane in that movie. You know, his character Jack Torrance just walked this trail on a Sunday with all these people and just lost his mind. But I can definitely sympathize with Mr. Torrance after having seen how many people were out here. I mean, it would drive anybody just to, to run around in the snowy, you know, hedge maze. I get it now. So, we're gonna go look at that. We're gonna relax, we're gonna go finish this up, and then we're gonna get the hell away from all these people. Because, as I always say, and you can quote me on this, people. Yeah. Well, we've made it back almost to the Timberline. We're right above it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say goodbye now. I'm gonna end, the, end this part of the video and then I will take you on a little tour. I won't say anything because there's gonna be people all around, but you get to see, you know, the exterior and where the movie was filmed and all that type of stuff. So, quick recap. We are on the Pacific Crest Trail. We went down the Zigzag Canyon along the way. We saw way too many damn people. I can't emphasize that enough. There were people everywhere. There was a huge, very rude group that was monopolizing everything and getting in people's way. But we also saw beautiful trees, beautiful creeks. We saw the gorgeous site that is Mount uh, Adam, no, sorry, Mount uh, Hood. I get all my volcanoes mixed up. They all look alike after a while, for heaven's sakes. They're tall and there's snow on them and they go boom and all that type of stuff. That was a recap of our video. So I'm gonna tell you what I always tell you. Stay introverted. We're gonna go look at the, uh, the Overlook Hotel AKA the, you know, the Timberline Lodge. But after that, I'll see you in the next adventure.